Hello, my name's Simon Bingham. This is part of my JNC IE video series um, for the Enterprise Track. Um, this is a continuation, really, from my previous video on OSPF and using the network summary statement in OSPF. So, what 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 I what I thought I didn't cover here is, um, let's say we wanted to summarize these external routes into OSPF, and rather than advertising four different routes advertise a single route. Now I believe Cisco actually has a single command that does this, it's something like summary, there's a summary command anyway which does does it in one go. Not quite as simple on Junos um, I will admit. So what we will do is what we will attempt to do is aggregate this route um, on this router here, um, sorry aggregate these routes and then actually introduce the aggregated route into OSPF and then maybe filter out the individual ones. Um, so let's have a little go at this. So uh, let's jump onto route 30. So first thing we need to do is we need to do an aggregate route. So we do this under the routing options. So we do set routing options, um, aggregate 100.0.16.0 slash, uh, in this case it's going to be a 2422. Oh, what have I done wrong? Root. That's all we're going to add first of all. Okay, so we can see we've got an aggregated route created here and um, the individual routes that make it up. So if we look on to say router 2 or across the other side of the network here and we do a top run show, show route 100.0.16 slash 22. We'll still get the individual routes, so that's because we need to introduce the aggregate into, into ISIS. So what we need to do then on route 30, let's do that. So let's do, if we just do, um, if we just, show, I actually have a policy already cre cre created um, um, redistributing the ISIS into OSPF. So if we just go and edit policy options, policy statement into OSPF. So what we've got here already. So let me go, let me create a new term. So let's go set term for from protocol aggregate. I tend to use some quite brush stroke, quite wide brush strokes in this lab environment. Um, if I was using this in a live environment I would tend to lock these things down a lot more, you know, do you know, I would I would tend to include root field state statements and all these being quite specific about what we were you know what we were redistributing but in this case it's a lab environment so I'm being a bit a bit more um, so being a bit using wider brush strokes really. So let's do show. So we're going to add that. Okay. Now we have the aggregate introduced. So now all that remains really is to to filter these out. Now these are being introduced because on router thirty I have a statement just importing all ISIS. Well I could just move that I think so if I could go deactivate and again if this was the real world I think I'd be a lot more careful about this. I would probably might have some statements higher up um, excluding you know pro ISIS with some specific routes in it but um, as this is a lab environment I'm not doing that. Obviously in the real world it would be a big thing to to stop all the traffic going from one routing protocol to another because <laughs> you'd have lots of users and um, you, you, you know you get yourself in a lot of trouble. So let's commit that. 
Let's have a little comment to see, see if this has worked. It's worked. Brilliant. So that's it really. So that's how you could aggregate um, routes, go external routes into OSPF um, or summarize um, in, in the Cisco terminology. Um, thank you very much. And just to quickly, what I'm going to start doing is showing my configs at the end of this as well. So um, if we just quickly go. So this is the term we added here. And um, we did a edit show we added an aggregate route here and then we go that in this export policy. So that's it. Thank you very much and goodbye.